In this session, we are solving one problem on finite automata. This problem came in the gate exam, earlier gate exams. Now, the problem here is like this. Let n be a non-deterministic finite automaton with small n number of states and let capital M be the minimized DFA that is a deterministic finite automaton with small m number of states recognizing the same string. So, ultimately they have done NFA to DFA conversion and the DFA is minimized. NFA is having number of states is equal to small n and DFA is having the number of states is equal to small m. Which of the following is necessarily true? So, they have given some inequations or equations in between m and n. So, now we shall have to solve it. If you watch our video where we have done uh, deterministic finite automata from non-deterministic finite automata, then there you can see that let us suppose in the non-deterministic automata we had say uh, four number of states say a, b, c, d. In the DFA we are having states like a, a, b, a, c, a, b, d in this way. That means this a, b, a, b, b, c, a, c, d then nothing but elements of the power set of a, comma b, comma c, comma d. And we know that for a certain set if there are n number of elements then in the power set that means power set means what? That means a set of all possible subsets of the mother set. Then in the power set it will have to the power of n number of elements. So, the deterministic automata can take a state from that power set of the main set. Okay. Now, here is the answer. Set of states in DFA will be a subset of the states of the equivalent NFA. So, the maximum number of states in the equivalent NFA will be to the power of n where n is the number of states in the NFA. As a set with n items has maximum to the number of number of, number of subsets. So, in the power set I told you the same thing that in the power set we will be having to the power of num, n number of subsets. So, the answer here is a because m will be less than equal to 2 to the power of n. This 2 to the power of n means the number of elements in the subset of the states that is the n number of states of the NFA. So, that is why this inequality will be our answer and they are not true. They are not true. You cannot ensure that always m will be equal to 2 to the power of n. It might be a special case for a certain case study, but it is not going to happen always for all possible NFAs. So, that is why my option will be, my answer will be option number A. In this way, these sort of questions are to be answered. Thanks for watching this video.